Hi right there guys and welcome to another Train Sim 2017 video. Today's a slightly special video, there's two little bits and pieces in here I want to show you. But let's just get read this through and I'm sure you'll notice what's going on behind me. Good morning and welcome to Bounds Green, we are currently set in the cab 43039 and are awaiting the road to depart. Please ready your driver's briefing for more information. Good morning driver and welcome to Bounds Green. We are currently set in the cab of HST awaiting to depart Bounds Green and the late running 5 Sierra 05 has only just departed so that may cause us a bit of bother. However, uh, delays aside, you are scheduled to arrive into King's Cross this morning at 0607, all being well. Only a quick one, this before... S what? All being well. Only a quick one, this, before the set gets a new driver for its first journey of the day, the 1 November 800708, London King's Cross, New York. Good luck. Okay. So, this video is set up really for two reasons. One is, I'm sure you can hear, is the Thunder and Lightning mod that I will put a link to in the description. I'm just trying it out for the first time. Second part is these wonderful reskins. So, this was done by God Lewis Close. And he has done all of the special HSTs that are around and the 91s that were for the GNER era completely and utterly covered them all which is brilliant. Whoa. So it's wet and rainy out here, thunder and lightning, which is a cool little mod. Um, Chris assures me it's not brilliant in the daytime yet. But I'm not, hang on, oh is it because I'm, there we go. Uh, Chris assures me it's not brilliant in the daytime yet so Lewis give me this scenario, not Lewis, Josh, Mr. Dreamliner. They'd give me this scenario to show off the pack. And it was a bit dark really to show off the pack. So I thought if I put the thunder and lightning, at least when we pass things it might light up a bit. Which is quite nice. Right, we've got the shunt signal, we are clear to go. Let's give ourselves some both headlights as it's a bit dark and gloomy. Let's turn those tail lights off. Let's get our ETS. I don't really want the ETS on in this cab, but I am going to do it. Just because this will be the rear cab by the time it gets into King's Cross. Parking brake is off. We can get a shuffle on. I don't think I've used the wipers in this one yet. I'm guessing that's the, the fastest they go. So while I was just downloading the, the lightning mod, I was having a flick and he's actually working on a fork lightning mod instead of sheet. Now I have known of thunder and lightning in other similar guises on train sim. There was a thunder and lightning weather set with the west coast main line over, no, west coast main line, no, western lines of Scotland, that's what it was on. I haven't got that route, so I never got to try it out. It's quite a new experience, I quite like it. So yeah, personally I wouldn't have really picked a um, 
very early morning scenario to show off uh, a new scenario pack, uh, a new texture pack. I think it adds a bit of atmosphere. Josh had it in sort of early morning fog before, and that was really nice. I thought I've got to change it so I can give this a go. I mean, don't get me wrong, it is pretty rare in the UK that we get lightning as, as sort of sort of long-lasting as this one. I'm saying that this year we've had some amazing storms. Try and get too ahead of myself here. Because I'm guessing we're going to get a load of crud from uh, Matey Boy in front of us further down this route. Dear Stephen worked on this thing. That's a lie, I do. It's the Valenta pack, so I know it does work. Screenshot and made me miss it, and then I was pressing Q instead of E, which is always a favourite of mine. Like I said, we're in no rush. Really enjoying this actually. I mean, I, I don't know how it's coming out on the video. Um, <coughs> I was um, probably about, probably about 12 13 on a trip up to Scotland actually in a, in a um, 
91 Mark 4 set in GNR colours. This was well before the Mallard refurb as well. And we had an amazing storm. We got stuck outside Doncaster for hours. And remember the lights went off in the train for a bit and it was literally just the light. You could so dark, even though it was the middle of the day, it had gone so dark and the light was just flashing on and off. This, this, this really reminds me of it to be fair, it's quite nice. I see all the lights are off, I don't know if they were all off in the train. I remember it being a lot darker on the train than normal. I can't remember for the life of me why, why, we, had to, why we were there for hours. If anyone knows of anything that happened, that would have probably been about July or August 1998, I So the pack itself, the GNR pack itself, does include all the special repaints of all the stuff that was done in GNR, which is amazing. I'm really looking forward to the scenario potential that this is going to offer us all. Um, well, especially Chris for me, really. But also Josh, Mr. Dreamline scenarios are pretty good. Um, up there with the best of them, really. And for him to be able to offer GNR scenarios as well, we'll widen him up to the East Coast mainline. I know he's a definite fan of the Midland mainline. And does do, he's done a couple for the East Coast actually. But also with uh, Nathan Smith's East Coast mainline add on coming out at some point. Uh, going back to the Jenny R era as well would be really nice. Do some Jenny R diversions up past Cambridge. Brilliant. We just really need a Eurostar. Well, even echoes inside the tunnel, the underpass. Quite cleverly done, really. And again, this is freeware. Both of these things will be freeware. And the GNR pack itself is beautiful. I mean, you can you can really wait till you get a a chance to really have a look through it all. You'll see what's available in it. I haven't got a list of actually what's available in it, if I'm honest. And I haven't even got all the way through it. Slippery rails. Right, I'm going to creep up. I have run a red there. And it knows I did. The mod, this mod was shared on the, I'm not actually going to be able to link in it as best I wanted to. Um, it's done by a guy called Darren M. Hooper and it's on the official Train Simulator's Facebook page. Um, 
the reason I can't link to it as best as I wanted is because I don't know if I can share the file download with you guys just yet. I will contact him and see. Am I going to have really messed this up because there's something sitting waiting to come down that tunnel now? No, it's not. It's just the 47 Thunderbird. Let's pull up to the signal. Brilliant. Yes, it's Darren M. Hooper that's on the official train simulators. Looks like a suspiciously missing power car. So, what I should have really also explained to you guys is this is still work in progress, um, and the installer has been a big sticking point for all of this pack. Uh, I know it has been worked on; it is still not perfect, but it's so much easier than copying geos over by hand. Um, once I come out of here, we'll have a quick look around Kings Cross. I'll tell you what, while we're actually putting in. So we've got City of Leeds, Darrow Cathedral. What are you coming in? Sterling right. Oh, an NSC 321. Nice shot, Josh. Like that. Work driver, well done. This train will now form 1 November 80. I've got to get rid of that, otherwise, we're going to crash. That's going to take me out of the scenario, and then we're going to get this, and then we're going to do it. Ah, oh. right, that was a shame because I didn't get to look around the end of it. I shouldn't have stopped completely. Thanks ever so much for watching. Uh, the information on these packs will be available when I get it. Um, I will probably be doing another couple of videos of it with this pack just to show it off anyway. Once again, thanks to Josh Thorpe and Lewis Close for letting me showcase this. And Darren M. Hooper, I haven't asked for permission to put this stuff in the video, but I'm sure you'll be fine with it, mate. And thank you again anyway, because that's a brilliant modification for the game itself. Don't forget to like the video if you do enjoyed it. If you do enjoyed it, if you did enjoy it, subscribe and share if you feel the need to. Once again, guys, thanks ever so much. Catch you soon.